do you think this is all about? I haven't the foggiest. Hope it's nothing serious. Where's Mr. Jones? What's going on? I think this pullover is stricken. <clears throat> you don't think that something has happened to him? Mr. Jones? Nah. I hope not. <laughs> Thanks, little red tractor. Right. I guess you're wondering why I've asked you all here. Yeah. 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 Well, it's exactly one year ago today that Mr. Jones moved to Babblebrook. Wow! wow. Really? So I thought that perhaps we should throw him a surprise party. Yeah. 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 One year. One year today, Big Blue. Hmm. Yes, uh, I've really quite enjoyed it. I know. I'll throw a big party. I'll invite all my neighborhood friends. Yes, yes. What a great idea. I've just had a load of cakes and buns delivered at the shop. I'll bring them round. Oh, and I'll make one of my blackberry pies. We'll pick the blackberries for you, won't we, Ryan? Yeah. Little Red Tractor and I will give you a hand if you like. Hey, it's about time our band made a comeback. Well, but we haven't played for ages. Yeah, well, when you've got it, you've got it. Look out! Here comes Mr Jones. Remember, everyone, it's a surprise party. Hello, all. Hello. 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 Hi. Uh, can't stop. Catch you later. Wait up, Dad. Bye, everyone. But I... Uh... Come on, you two. See you later. Bye, little red tractor. Bye, everyone. Bye. See ya. Hmm. Guess I'll have to catch up with everyone later. Stan, having a bit of a do at my place tonight. Wondered if you could make it. Tonight? Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Jones. I've got plans. Really? Oh, well, never mind. Some other time. True. Poor Mr. Jones. Perhaps we should tell him. But it is meant to be a surprise party, Stan. It's much better if it's a surprise. I guess you're right. Come on, then. Let's go pick some blackberries. Yeah! Uh -oh. Jones! What on earth is that racket? Uh, nothing. It's uh, uh, just the radio. Dad's got the radio on. Dreadful noise. Anyhow, just stopped by to see if you and Walter would like to come to a party at my place tonight. Tonight? Oh, I'm sorry, but we've already been invited to a party tonight. Oh. Uh, well, never mind. No, uh, some other time then. Bye. Poor Mr. Jones. What are you doing? Um, nothing. Hmm. Suit yourself. Look, I'm having a bash at mine tonight. Wondered if you and Elsie could make it. Hmm? Tonight? Yes. No. Oh, sorry. Well, it's, um, it's quite all right. Perhaps some other time then, hmm? Oh, that was close. What was close? Oh, oh, Stan, I almost spilled the beans. Almost told Mr Jones all about the party. Oh, I'm no good at keeping secrets. Now, where are my berries? Here they are, Elsie. We've got loads for you. Oh, wonderful. I'll be able to make quite a few pies with this lot. Little Red Tractor and I will come and pick you both up later and give you a hand with all those pies. Mmm. Ah, uh, Walter! My word, you do listen to some awful stuff on that radio. Radio? No, that's Nicola. Oh! Oh, yeah, yeah! Ah, no, nah, no. Nah. You're right, yeah. It's Nicola's radio. <laughs> it's terrible, ter it's terrible noise. Look, um, just pop round to see if you have any cakes left. Uh, nah. I don't think we have. Uh, I'll go and check. I'm sure there's something strange going on today. Here we go. Last one. Found it down the back of the counter. Uh, oh. <laughs> Here, you can have that on the house. 
Thank you. I, I don't know what to say. You don't have to say a word. Now, I'd better get back to it. I'll see you at the pot. The... Uh, see ya. There is definitely something not quite right around here. Oh, these smell gorgeous, Elsie. Mm. Here you go, Stan. Now be careful. This is a highly tuned instrument. Oh, I can see it is. <laughs> Here we go. Who needs other people? This will be a marvellous party. Just one more. Ah! Ooh, two more. Ah, yes. All set. Ready when you are, driver. Hope you're feeling strong, little red tractor. Well, OK, then. Let's go! We'll go and fetch Mr Jones while you all finish up here. One, two, three, four! Still got it. <laughs> I don't know what I was worried about. Mr Jones, glad I caught you. I need your help back at Gosling Farm. My help? Oh, well, I was right in the middle Please. of... Please, it's very important. Um, oh, very well then, yes. I can't wait to see his face. <laughs> He will be surprised. Oh, oh, here they come. What? Uh, Stan? What's all this? Surprise! Well, today is a very special day. It is one year ago today that you moved to the village. You... You remembered. We thought we'd throw you a party to let you know that you're truly welcome here. We've even written a special song! You can call, call a home a home When you're feeling all alone Having good friends is the key You'll never be on your own Mr Jones, we all agree you're part, part of, of our, our family. family. Our family. I... I'm really touched. Thank you. Thank you all. You're, you're more than welcome. welcome. Glad, you're here. Glad you're here. <coughs> you know, I, I really am grateful for all the help you've given me, and I owe a special thanks to you, Stan, and Little Red Tractor. It's been a pleasure. I don't suppose you know a song about good neighbours, do you, Walter? Nah, but we do have something about a very helpful tractor. You know the one, guys? Yep. yep. Let's, Let's go. go! Little red tractor, he's king of the field. Getting his jobs done with Stan at the wheel. He's not the biggest, but he's a hero. Little red tractor, woo! Let's go! Yeah! Hi, Stan. Hi, little red tractor. Hey, what's that you've got, Stan? Just a little something for Amy. Is she around? Yeah, she's here. But I don't think she'll want to drink that. <laughs> she's not going to drink it. It's for her marrow. And I want you to grow even bigger and stronger. We're going to win the best marrow prize at the fete, aren't we? I hear talking to your plants helps them grow. You were talking to your marrow. But this'll help even more than talking to it. It's my special homegrown plant food. My dad taught me how to make it. Great! Thanks, Stan. Look, Morris. Look at what Stan's brought us. Morris? <laughs> Girls are weird. <laughs> this year we're going to win, aren't we, my beauty? 
Look out! I won't win anything of you skateboard all over my marrow. Sorry, Uncle Jasper. Well, not to worry, Thomas. No harm done. But if anything happens to my marrow, I couldn't bear a repeat of last year. Stumpy beat me to the first prize of the fate. It was terrible. But this year, my marrow will be the talk of Babelbrook. Mm-hmm. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Hello there, Elsie. I've got some corn for Stumpy. He around, is he? Oh, he's around, all right. But you won't get any sense out of him. Nothing new there, then. <laughs> oh, Stan. He's round the back, looking after his marrow. He's hoping to win the prize again this year. Afraid I won't be. Not this year. Looks pretty good to me, Stumpy. Uh, <laughs> would have been a winner, I reckon. But something's had a go at it, see? Looks like the birds round here have got a taste for marrow. Well, never mind. We've still got some rehearsing to do, remember? Oh, yes, that we have. <laughs> rehearsing? Rehearsing for what? Oh, you'll see. See you later. Ah, good man, Thomas. Now let's have that water over. Whoa! Da -da -da -da. Look out! Oh. Sorry. It was heavy. Well, yes, well, no damage done, thank goodness. Ah, Stan, hello there. <laughs> Careful! What? My marrow! There's no way I'd beat Stumpy's if you jumped on it, is there? Sorry, but there's no way Stumpy's is going to beat yours. What? How do you mean? Stumpy's marrow's out of the competition. Attacked by birds or something. <laughs> oh, dear. That is a pity. Poor Stumpy. <laughs> well, Thomas, it looks as if you're in with a very good chance of winning. Unless... Oh. What if those birds come and attack my marrow? Or what if it wasn't birds at all? What if there's a marrow mangler out there damaging people's marrows? Oh, dear. Well, thanks for the warning, Stan. Very good of you to come all this way. Oh, that's not why I'm here, Mr Jones. I came to remind you about the rehearsal. Rehearsal? What rehearsal? Well, Stan and I and, um... It's a secret, remember? Oh, yes, a secret. But you'll find out soon enough, Thomas. Right, Stan, let's get on with rehearsals. Uh, d oh, but my marrow! I don't want to leave it to the mercy of, um, of whatever got stump is. Well, why don't you put a box over it? That should keep the birds off. Ah, but what if it isn't birds? What if it's the masked marrow mangler of Babelbrook? Masked marrow mangler? A good idea, Stan. <laughs> I'll put a box over it. And I'll go and fetch Walter. See you later. Bye, Stan. Just tighten this up a little bit and then we'll start her up. Are you sure that's right? Last time you did that, the engine blew. Oh, yeah, but last time I was working on the other spark plug. Hi, Nicola. Walter about. <sighs> Does that answer your question, Stan? I think so. <laughs> oh, really thought I had it that time. Yeah, well, I said, didn't I? Smart, Alec. Oh, hi there, Stan. Hello, little red tractor. Just pop round to see how you're sorted for a spot of rehearsing. Oh, yeah. Great. I was getting fed up tinkering with the old banger anyway. Rehearsing? You two haven't joined the Babblebrook Amateur Dramatic Society, have you? Nah, nothing like that. So what are you rehearsing? You'll see. So long as you come to the fate, that is. Oh, we wouldn't miss it for the world, would we? Well, Big Blue, I thought you did very well. Rehearsals went like a dream, and tomorrow, <laughs> Babblebrook won't have seen anything like it. Ooh, my marrow! I nearly forgot. There, a spot of nice fresh air for you. Night, night. See you in the morning, and then first prize, eh? <laughs> oh, what if there's a marrow mangler on the loose? There! Now, oh, don't worry, my beauty. Nothing's going to get you while I'm here keeping an eye on you. The mangler. I want me. I have the biggest mirror. No more chisel. Just thank you. I'd like to thank myself on behalf of everybody here for my first prize in the biggest mirror. Excuse me. I'm just. Oh, 
Oh. Hmm. Ah. Ah! So, Stumpy said it was birds, did he? Well, tell me that was done by a bird. No, that's not the work of birds. It looks as if someone's trampled all over it. Exactly. The mysterious Meru Mangala of Babblebrook. And what's more, he pinched one of my shoes. If I ever get my hands on him, I won't answer for the... For the for... <laughs> this is not a laughing matter. Someone has dealt a mortal blow to my marrow. And he's sitting right there. What? What are you... <laughs> Stupid thing. <sighs> Look. See those footprints and that trail of sandwich crumbs and your shoe? You mean it was me? You must have been sleepwalking, Mr. Jones. Oh, sleepwalking or oh, not again. They say eating cheese before you go to sleep gives you funny dreams. Oh, I knew those cheese sandwiches were a mistake. Oh, come on, cheer up. There's always next year. And we've still got a little surprise for everyone, haven't we? Yes. Yes, we have. W what is it those actor types say? The show must go on. That's the spirit. Come on, little red tractor. Let's show everyone at the fate what we're made of. And now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we come to the main event at this year's Babblebrook Fate. Prepare to be thrilled and amazed by the daredevil skills of the Babblebrook Display Team! Wow! Go, little red tractor! Yeah! Oh, Stumpy! I can hardly bear to look. Aha! So that's what they were rehearsing. Oh! Ooh, cutting it a bit fine there. <laughs> wow! Oh, Uncle Jasper, way to go! Well done, little red tractor. You're the best. He certainly is, Stan. And I have to say, that little display almost made up for not winning the best marrow prize. You hear who won it by any chance? I did. Me and Morris. Morris? Well, with a little help from Stan and his dad's plant food. Well, I never. Well done, Amy. Well done indeed. But you'll have me to beat next year. Are you doing another show next year? What do you think, Little Red Tractor? <laughs> that sounds like a yes to me. Morning, Little Red Tractor. It's my day off, and as a special treat, you're going to get a full wash and polish. Now, who will be calling me on my day off? Hello? Oh, Mr Jones, how are you? Really? Oh, really? Oh, I see. We'll be right over. I'm sorry, but your wash and polish is going to have to wait. Mr Jones has bought a new baler and it seems to be broken. understand a word of these instructions. Maybe what it needs is a little tap. Oh. Ah! Morning, Stan. Uh, sorry to bother you on your day off, but a spot of bother with the bailer here. Well, I'll be happy to have a look, Mr. Jones, but... I've tried everything, of course. Oil, fuel... And, and I'm sure you've tried pushing this. What's that? The starter. Starter. Oh, must be your magic touch, Stan. Thank you. <laughs> well done. Is there anything I can do for you in return? Um, maybe one of those biscuits? Missed breakfast, you see. Oh, sorry, Stanley. <laughs> Last one. 
No, thanks. I'll be off now. I'll promise Little Red Tractor a day of pampering. Hello? Oh, hi, Laura. Really? Oh, dear. Well, of course, we'll pop over now. Hmm, problem, Stan? No. Laura has accidentally broken one of her husband's model sail ships. I'm going to pop over and try and fix it before he gets home. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go. Oh, dear. I do feel bad about spoiling Stan's day off. <laughs> Morning, Veronica. Hi, Stan. Hi, little red tractor. Stan, I'm so glad you're here. I know it's your day off, but... I... Oh, that's quite all right. I was only planning to give Little Red Tractor a clean and a polish. We could do that, couldn't we, Ryan? Oh, yeah. Can we? I don't see why not. Now, let's have a look at this boat. What do you think? I think I can make that as good as new. Oh, great. Well, you get yourself comfortable and I'll prepare some lunch. It's the least I can do. Oh, thanks. I'm starving. Hello. That's strange. Oh, come on, Sparky. There's nothing wrong with you. I only finished your service yesterday. Oh, no. I don't believe it. You've run out of petrol. Oh, what am I like? It won't be long before you're back on the road. I've been told you. Hello? You've broken down? In our breakdown truck? Oh, my, you are in a pickle. What was what noise? Oh, uh, there's, there's, there's nothing, nothing. Well, I can't leave the garage just now. Well, call Stan or Mr Jones. Well, they'll be sure to give you a tow back. Well, must get on. Uh, see you shortly. Stop that now. But, Stan, you can't go without any lunch. Well, Nicola has run out of petrol, I'm afraid. She needs a tow back to the garage. I'll grab a snack later. Oh, poor Stan. This is supposed to be his day off. Sorry, we've got another job. But what about his wash? We've only just started. I know. It's been that kind of a day, I'm afraid. Come on, little red tractor. Nicola needs our help. Thanks for fixing the boat, Stan. My pleasure. See you later. Bye. Poor Stan works far too hard. Now he's missed his lunch. And little red tractor missed his wash. Stan will do anything for anybody. Well, maybe we could do something for him. Like what? We could fix him up a lovely supper. And I can pick him some of my flowers. We should do something for Little Red Tractor, too. Hmm. I think I've got an idea. Not long now. Stand on his way and we'll get you home. Hi, Dad. No, he's on his way. Should be here any second. I've been speaking to Laura Turvey. And do you know, Stan has spent his whole day off helping just about everyone. What clanking? Anyway, we were thinking we should organise a little surprise. So I need you to hold him up for a while, OK? Hold him up? That shouldn't be a problem. Am I glad to see you. Thanks for coming out. No problem. Did you bring a tow rope? Better than that. I stopped off at the farm and brought you a can of petrol so we can get you home quicker. Oh, uh, yes. That was a good idea. So, we'll be on our way in no time, eh? Great. What was that? My stomach. Sorry, it's just every time I've planned to eat today, something has happened to stop me. I'm starving. Oh, and now I've held you up. I'll make it up to you, I promise. No problem. I'm supposed to delay him. Must think of something. Oh. Stan, let me get the petrol cab off for you. Oh, I don't seem to be able to unscrew it. Well, here, let me have a go. How strange. It's not locked, is it? Locked? No, I don't think so. Oh, 
Oh, fit for a king. Little Red Tractor won't believe his eyes when he sees this. How are we doing with the supper? All finished. Well done, you two. Stan will love this. We have all of his favourites. Thanks, Dad. We'll be there in about five minutes. We've got the all clear now. Maybe it's time to unlock the petrol cap. Um, sorry, Nicola. I've tried just about everything to get this thing off. Let me have one more go. Maybe you've loosened it. Look! Well done. You're stronger than you look. Wow, how about that? Well, now we can get the petrol in and all get home. I'm so hungry. Stan, I hate to be a nuisance, but would you follow me back to the garage just in case anything else happens? Well, I'm sure you'll be fine now. Oh, please. OK. I can't wait to see his face. Stan won't believe it. Wait, I think I can hear them. Welcome to the Beach Garage Wash and Polish Service for very special red tractors. What's all this? Well, we decided that both of you are always doing things for us and it was about time we did something in return. Oh, that's great, but you didn't have to. We wanted to. Now, if you'll leave little red tractor here, I have another surprise for you. Good evening, sir. Welcome to the Beach Garage Cafe. Oh, this is fantastic. And I am starving. We can soon take care of that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a tractor to polish. Well, of course. This is to say thank you for always being so willing to help any of us when we need you. I grew the flowers myself. And I laid the table. The lemonade is from Mr Jones, and I've made the cakes with the flour from Stumpy's windmill. Something from everyone. Well, I'll never forget this day off, that's for sure. How are you doing, little red tractor? That's it, little red tractor. Nice Stan! work. Stan! Stan! Ryan and Amy, what are you two doing here? Stan, you know the Bubble Brook Fair? I should say so. Tomorrow, isn't it? I'm looking forward to it. So are we, and we've had an idea. Have you? You know how there's a procession every year with fancy dress and stuff? Yes. We think a little red tractor should enter. We could dress him up. Dress him up as a dragon. A dragon, eh? What do you think, little red tractor? <laughs> Sounds like he reckons it's a good idea. Yay! He's, He's going, going to be, to be a, dragon. a dragon. He's, He's going, going to be a dragon. But not until we've finished our work. <laughs> there. Now, if that don't win first prize in the procession, I don't know what... Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh! Oh, Elsie. Oh, nearly gave me the fright of my life. I could say the same thing. What's that? <laughs> Good, isn't it? <laughs> I reckon as how me and Nipper are going to win first prize at the fair. That's Nipper? Ah, and I'm going to take him down to show Stan. Stumpy, are you sure this is a good idea? I mean, how can you see where you're going? But I've got a nice view through the eye holes. See you later, Elsie! Oh, why do I get the feeling this is going to end in tears? Right, that's the ploughing all done. Now, let's get started on our dragon. Yeah! We'll need some wood and some cardboard, string and sticky tape. You're going to be the scariest dragon that ever was. Not a useless lump of... I'm getting tired of this. Right. Oh. That's no good. Ryan and Amy not with you, Mrs Turvey? Not today, Nicola, no. They're up at stands. They're turning Little Red Tractor into a dragon for the Babblebrook procession. A dragon? Ooh, my word. A dragon? What's this all about? A dra... Oh, not again. And I really thought I'd got it going this time. Oh, dear. Trouble? No, it's just Dad's old car. He's been trying to get it going again, with the usual results. Now, it was charcoal you were after, wasn't it? One bag or two? <sighs> That's coming along nicely. It's going to look great when it's all painted. Hope so. Hello. Sounds like Nipper. 
Like trouble. Oh. oh, what happened? Looks like you crashed into a clown, Stumpy. Oh, bother. <laughs> Took me ages to make that. I was going to win first prize in the procession with my clown's head. You could make another one. No, it'd take too long. Fair's tomorrow, and I got to mill some corn for Mr. Jones later on. You painted it really well, too. Why don't you help us, Stumpy? Go on. We're making this red tractor into a dragon for the procession. Oh, are you now? We could do with a good painter. Oh, I'd be glad to help. Well, come on then. Let's get back to work. Well, you're really going to look the business, little red tractor. <laughs> Just as soon as I get your costume painted. <laughs> Though I say so myself. Not bad. It's brilliant. Ah, but it's not quite finished yet. It looks finished to me, Stan. Not until it's got its roar, it isn't. I used to fix these to my bike wheels when I was a nipper. Oh, my goodness, is that the time? Oh, I'd better be off. I got Mr Jones coming round with his corn in a couple of minutes. Oh, I nearly forgotten all the excitement. Um, see you, Stan. Bye, kids. Bye, Bye Stumpy. Stumpy. Look out, Stumpy. <laughs> there you go, Mr Jones. All filled up. Thanks, Nicola. Just got to get this corn to Stumpy and then feet up in the garden. Looking forward to the village fair, Mr Jones? Village fair? Dear me, no. Not a fuss about nothing. One tacky hoopla boo, the bring and buy stall, and a speech from the mayor. No, not my idea of an exciting day out at all. Well, I reckon it's going to be quite exciting this year. I heard Mrs. Turvey saying there was going to be a dragon there. <laughs> a dragon. <laughs> yes, a dragon. See, Mrs. Turvey told me that. Mrs. Turvey told you, did she? Well, that's the trouble with you country folk. Too easily taken in by stories like that. Not a real dragon, you great. Language, Nicola. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hello, Elsie. Stumpy here it is him. Not just at the moment, but I'm sure he'll be back soon. He knows about your corn. I don't know. You country folk. We country folk what? The stories you tell. Just a few minutes ago, Walter and Nicola were spinning some cock and bull story about a dragon. A dragon, if you please, when everyone knows there's no such thing as a dragon. They are the stuff of folklore and fairy tales. Well, round these parts, we don't take talk of dragons so lightly. Boy, my old dad caught a dragon once. Big green and it were. Absolute tosh. Tosh, piffle and balderdash. If you say so, Mr. Jones. I do. Stumpy, what happened to your clown's head? Oh. <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> Bit of an accident. Clown's head? Dragons? Dear, dear me. I don't think I'll ever get the hang of country living. I'll be back in a couple of days to fetch the flower, Stumpy. Eh? Mm. Yes, and thank you too. Stumpy? What was that nonsense about your dad catching a dragon? Well, it wasn't nonsense. He did catch one. <laughs> a dragon fly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Stumpy. There. You're all dragoned up, little red tractor. And now it's time I got you two home. But perhaps we ought to make sure that our dragon roars first, eh? There we go, Amy. Now you, Ryan. Hey! Now that's what I call a roar. Ah, now this is the part of the country life I do enjoy. Last rays of sun in the evening, the smell of the... the... Hello. What's that? Don't tell me Stan's let his bull out of the field again. What on earth can it... No, no, it can't be. 
Was a dragon's dinner. Mr. Jones? Stan, has it gone? Has what gone? The dragon, I saw it big and fierce, and it was going to eat me up. <laughs> oh, Mr. Jones. <laughs> What's so funny? There's no dragon, Mr. Jones. It's Little Red Tractor. Ah! Oh, it's... Uh, uh, it's, it's my little joke. I, 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 I knew it was Little Rejector. There's no such thing as dragons, eh? <laughs> you may be small, Little Red Tractor, but you're a champion dragon. Yeah, good morning. Brought some things for the sale, I see. Yes, although you seem to have a lot here already. You never can have too much, Dan. In fact, Stumpy has a few old board games he said I could have, and the Turvey family offered a few bits and bobs, too. Uh, no, I think. Well, that's good, isn't it? But they need picking up, you see, and I, uh, well, <laughs> as you can see, I'm up to my eyes. OK, I'll do it now. Stan, you are a marvel. Thank you so much. I'm getting tired of this. Every time I think you're fixed, you break down again. So I'm going to ask you one more time. Please work! Everything all right, Walter? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, very good. <laughs> Thank you. I thought maybe you'd broken down again. No, 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 no. I'm a mechanic, Stan. Simple thing like a car couldn't fox me, eh? <laughs> no, I was... I was just checking the wheels, you see. Uh, three and four. <laughs> well, yeah, four. Spot on. Well, I'll leave you to it. See you later. Right. You have one last chance. Oh, thanks, Stan. <laughs> Save me a trip. No problem. Mr. Jones is certainly going to town with his garage sale. You've never seen so much stuff. Oh, you know him. He never does anything by halves. <laughs> right, one more stop at Rose Cottage, and then I might have a look round the sale myself. See you. Bye, Stan. Why don't we have one more go to get you started? Hmm? For me? Still here, Walter? Uh, so, no, I'm just, I'm just counting the headlights, you see. One and uh, two. Well, there you go. Phew. <sighs> just as I expected. Are you sure you're all right, Walter? I'm enjoying the country air stand, that's all. <laughs> right, that does it. I've had enough of this stupid car. I'm going to call Nicola and we'll tow this old wreck straight to the scrapyard where it obviously belongs. Well, just a minute. Mr Jones is having a garage sale. Why not tow it there? Someone may have use for it. You know, that's a good idea. Well, I have another pickup to do, so I'll see you there. See you later. Hi there, Amy. Is he for the garage sale? Yeah. And I have two more. Hello, Ryan. Don't tell me Ted is going to the sale too. Yes, he is. You're far too old for a teddy bear, Ryan. He's not a teddy bear. He's an action bear. I don't have to take the bear, you know, Ryan. <sighs> no, it's OK. I am a bit too old for a stuffed bear. I'll make sure he goes to a good home. Right, time I was off. Maybe I'll see you at the sale later on. Bye, Stan. Bye, Bear. Uh, you can't leave that there. I'm having a garage sale. Exactly. 
Now you have a real bargain. I've decided to sell my car. Could fetch a pretty penny, so you want to put it where it could be clearly seen. Well, I do have space right at the back there, over by the silo. We'll never get sparky for all that stuff. Tell you what, we'll leave it right here at the front. You'll see, people will be flocking in. They love a bargain. But, I, no, 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 save your thanks. I'm sure you'll be able to do me a similar favour one day. Right, Dad, it's all yours. I've got to get back to work. No worries. Thanks, Nicola. But no one is going to buy this. It's junk. Not junk. Just a beautiful old car that needs a little tender care. And a new door. Nice colour, though. Hello. Everyone happy? I'll be happy when I see the back of that thing. What price should I ask for it, Stan? You want money for it? <laughs> Let me drop off this lot, and I'll help you paint a sign. Where do you want it? Gnomes with garden accessories, board games on the table back there, and uh, what else? Oh, what a cute teddy bear. <laughs> Look. Oh, that reminds me of when I... Ah, well, anyway, um, teddy bears with toys, please, Stan. OK, I'll leave the trailer in your barn, if that's all right. May want to buy a few things myself, and I can load up later. Least I can do. Maybe 200? Fifty, then? Decided on a price yet? I was thinking fifty, Stan. It's got to be one of the fifty. Or twenty? You may be right there. Twenty! <laughs> and I'll throw in a fluffy dice. Yeah. <laughs> a bargain in any language. Right, let's paint up a sign. Ah, oh, there you are. Hi, Amy. What's the matter? You've been miserable ever since Stan left. Oh, nothing. It's your bear, isn't it? You didn't have to give him to the sale if you didn't want to. I know, but he's gone now, so that's it. No, it isn't. We can go and get him back. Come on, let's get Mum. Yeah, let's go and get him. A work of art. Well, let's hope it does the trick. Better leave it for a while to dry, eh? Don't leave that there. I don't want anyone thinking my beautiful house is for sale. Good point. I'll find somewhere in the sun where it can dry. Oh, I nearly forgot. There is something I need to do. See you later. Hang on, Stan. I'll come with you. Oh, hi there. What a delightful sale and so many bargains. I can't believe that lovely thing out there is so cheap. I'll take it. <laughs> you think so? Oh, my, Walter will be pleased. Utterly adorable. It takes all kinds, Stumpy. I can't believe anyone would call Walter's old wreck adorable. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Uh, excuse me, but what do you think you're doing? I just bought this tractor, but it's, it's gone crazy! Bought my tractor? <laughs> Little Red Tractor is not for sale. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Calm down, little red tractor. There has been a mistake, I'm afraid. Here, great news, Stan. Someone has bought my car. You put the for sale sign on little red tractor. Well, I, yeah, only while I was waiting for it to dry. Well, this poor chap thought he was buying little red tractor. Oh, oh, I'm all of a dither. Well, look on the bright side. You got this lovely bargain. <laughs> Looking for anything in particular? A teddy bear. An action bear, actually. We donated it to the sale by mistake. I was hoping we could get him back. Oh, no bear, I'm afraid. Oh, we must have sold it. Maybe we can find another one. You can't replace action bear. Well, is there anything else you'd like to do? No, thanks. I think I'll go home. I don't care how much character it has, I bought the tractor. Well, it's got fluffy dice. Oh. Oh, now they are nice. Oh, yes, I do like these. Now, forget the car and the tractor. I'll buy them. 
Ah, Ryan, just a chap. I bought you a little present. I was thinking that he looked a bit lonely, so I bought him back for you. Oh, thanks, Stan! I could throw the car in with the fluffy dice, you know. <laughs> no, thank you. How about you, Stan? Looking for a bargain? I have my bargain, thank you, Walter. And he didn't cost me a penny. Oh, no! What's happened? Whoa! I see the wind's picked up. It's OK, Little Red Tractor. It's only me. I'm having a bit of trouble getting the barn doors open. That was a bit of a squeeze. I hope you're feeling strong this morning. That's it, Little Red Tractor. Nice and gentle. Push harder this time. Good work. Right, we'd better get these bales tidied away before they do any damage. Then let's get the corn up to Stumpy's as soon as we can. You know, I'm not sure about this washing line of yours, Stumpy. It'll be fine, else. Besides, you were the one who insisted on washing all me clothes at once. That's why the washing line had to be so long. Well, I'm not letting my husband walk around in dirty clothes. You were filthy. <laughs> I was clean enough. Oh, how long's this gonna take? I gotta get the milling done for Mr. Jones, and Stan's coming round with his corn soon, too. Oh, keep your shirt on. With this gusting wind, your clothes will be dry in no time. I'm really not sure about this. Just a bit further. There. Now to get that corn up to the mill. The wind really is strong. At least it does have some benefits. The wind will turn the mill faster and grind our corn to flour quicker. That way we can get paid by the bakery before the end of the day. If we're lucky. <laughs> See? When Stumpy the Miller does something, he does it right. Uh-oh. Sounds like the brake's gone. Now then, what were you saying about Stumpy the Miller doing things right? No. <sighs> well, that's really jammed the sails. I won't be milling anything today. No. And my washing's not going to be dry neither. Oh, well, I'd better go after me clothes. Oh, no. You're not going anywhere in just your undies. I'll go and find your clothes. Oh. Else, you better take Nipper. My pants could be halfway to Babblebrook by now. <sighs> That's the lot. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go. <laughs> Don't worry. The trick to ride a Nipper is to hold on. You know, maybe I should walk, after all. Oh, don't be daft. You'll get the hang of it. Now, to accelerate, twist the right-hand grip and, and... And to stop, the brake... Elsie! The, the brake... The brake's on the left-hand side! Oh, oh, dear. Despite that wind, it's a beautiful day for a drive. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Whoa! That was a close one. Well done, Little Red Tractor. Nice stop. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Now, what on earth is going on? This is Stumpy's hat. I guess these must be his too. Let's go and find out what's going on. Stumpy! 
Why is Dobby wearing a dress? Oh, my. Oh, I've only just washed this. Stumpy, are you all... Elsie? But what? Oh, Stan, it's a long story. Are you OK? Oh, I'm fine. But my Stumpy has gotten himself into a bit of a pickle back at the mill. He could do with a hat. Anything to do with these? How did you ever guess? We were on our way up to the mill anyway. We'll see what we can do. i just got to have a little word with Nipper, and then we'll see you up there. See you later, then. Now then, you. This stopping business. Stan! Stan! Oh! Oh, am I glad to see you two. I heard you had a spot of bother. Windmill's stuck. There'll be no milling today unless we can unstick it. All I was trying to do was get me clothes dry. Perhaps I shouldn't have tied the washing line to the sail. Oh, I think I can see what the trouble is. Well, can, you, can you fix it? Of course. That's if Little Red Tractor is up for a bit of hard work. Right, let's get started. There is absolutely nothing wrong with you, so will you please stop messing about and start working? Why, you... Hello, Stumpy! Oh, that's a nice dress. Uh, now, where was I? Oh, yeah. Why, you little... There. OK, little red tractor, let's slowly take up the slack. Oh, I hope this works. That a boy. It's moving. It's moving. Come on, little red tractor. Oh, oh not again. Well done, you two. Good work. Yes. Good work, little red tractor. Working like clockwork. <laughs> I'll go and put the brake back on. At least some of your clothes are dry. Oh, thanks. Perhaps I can get on with my work now. <laughs> Left leg. <laughs> right leg. Well, I'll give you a hand if you like. And up. Oh, will you, Stan? That'd be a great help. <laughs> I'd never get it done on my own. Perfect. <laughs> I knew you'd get the hang of it. Well, if that's what you call... Oh, Stumpy. Now, don't make me go and change else. Stan and I have got work to do. Come on, Stumpy. Roll up your sleeves and let's make a start. A lot. <laughs> Thanks, Stan. That'll make a lot of good bread, that will. It sure will, but that was hard work. Are you all done? Yep. Then my work can begin. Oh, you don't mean... I do. <laughs> you too, Stanley. Hey? <laughs> don't look at me. You should try living with her. Oh, oh this is much better. There's no chance of you blowing away, Little Red Tractor. Here we go. I think this is the trouble. Hold still, Little Red Tractor. If I loosen the alternator and shift it down... That's got it. I think we'd better get down to the garage and get a new fan belt, just in case. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go. Hello, Mr. Jones. Morning. Ooh. That's well timed. 
I'm ready to get started on Big Blue straight away. Marvellous. Oh, and don't forget, Nicola, after the service, he needs a jolly good spruce up. No problem. Needs to look tip-top so I can get the best price possible. Best price? Uh, you're not thinking of selling him, are you? Precisely. I'm getting a new one. What? You can't! I can. Now, looky here. It's the latest model, the 501. And Big Blue's a great tractor. And he's more than just a tractor, he's part of our community. It's the 501. It's like selling a friend. What if we sold you, Mr Jones? We wouldn't get much. Oh, I should have guessed you wouldn't understand. I mean, just look at this place. It's avoided progress for years. Now, hold on. You have to move with the times. And talking about moving, I must get on. I say, any chance of a lift home? Hello, Mr. Jones. Where's Big Blue? Hello, Stan. No, he's at the garage, getting a spruce up ready for tomorrow. It's all rather exciting, actually. Why, what's happening to Big Blue tomorrow? Getting rid. <sighs> You're getting rid of Big Blue? Yes. Look. It's the latest model, the 501. Oh, oh, Big Blue's a good tractor. He's almost new. Oh, never mind. I should have realised, given the age of your old tractor, that you wouldn't understand. <laughs> Look, I'm in a bit of a rush, and... Any chance of a lift? No? Don't worry, big guy. We won't let him sell you. Hello, you two. Hi. I guess you've heard the news. We can't let him do it, Stan. I know, but Big Blue is Mr Jones's tractor after all. If only we could make Mr Jones realise what a special tractor he's got. That's it. Walter, you're a genius. I've been telling you that for years. <laughs> I've got a plan, but we're going to need everyone's help. Are you in? Yep. You betcha. <laughs> What's the plan, Stan? Walter? You need to hide Sparky, then hide yourself. We'll pretend you're out on a job and... Ginger! Oh, wow! Oh. Hmm. Look, thanks for coming, Stumpy. There's not much I can do on my own without Big Blue. Where is he today? Um, he's... I don't want to make Stumpy mad at me, too. I need his help. Um, well, he's on holiday. Holiday? Yes, um, a tractor holiday with other tractors. Oh, it's all right for some. <laughs> right, what do you want doing? Aha! Right, um, thought we'd start with the ploughing. I reckon this will be the perfect spot to put our plan into action. It should be nice and safe. Hardly anyone comes up here anymore. Hmm. That log may be a bit too heavy. Well, OK, let's give it a go. It will certainly be more of a challenge when Big Blue gets here. That should do it, Stumpy. Right, yo. Chop, chop. Oh, it's no good. It's not budging. I do believe Big Blue would have had half the field ploughed by now. Hmm. Well, I guess you won't be needing our help anymore, then. So, we'll get off home and... Uh, no, 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 no. Of course I need your help. I know. What if we raise the plough? That way it won't be dragging along the ground. Oh, good idea. There. Uh, Mr Jones? Yes? Don't think that's helped. <sighs> no. Here we go. A brand new air filter. Right, I'm off to put my part of the plan into action. Off to hide Sparky. What a plan. What a plan. Oh, don't worry. Stan's plans never fail. There we go. OK, little red tractor. Get ready. Now, heave. Come on, little red tractor. Well done. Great job. All we have to do now is get Mr Jones. Uh, uh, I'm not sure this is such a great idea. Of course it is. If we move the damp bales from the bottom out into the sunshine, they will dry out in no time at all. All right. Here goes nothing. 
<laughs> Good job, Nipper. <laughs> Stronger than you look. <clears throat> <clears throat> I guess you are right, Stumpy. Not such a great idea. Should I ask? Best not. Can someone please get me out of here? No problem. Little Red Tractor and I will have you out of there in no time. Oh, Mr Jones, I need your help. There's a tree blocking the track through Tawny Owl Wood. We tried to move it, but Little Red Tractor's not strong enough. I'm sure Big Blue wouldn't have had a problem shifting it. Well, I was hoping the two of you would be able to clear the track. I mean, if there was an emergency and someone wanted to get through... Of course, in an emergency, no one could get through. There's no time to lose. Exactly. I'll get Big Blue. Don't worry. We'll save the day. What? I thought Big Blue was on holiday. Holiday? Yeah, a tractor holiday with other tractors. Come on, let's get you out of there. I think you must have bumped your head. Nicola! <laughs> Need Big Blue immediately. It's emergency. Emergency? Yes, emergency. Big Blue and I. Only ones who can come to the rescue. Really? Ah, uh, Stan's little tractor's too feeble. Uh, oh? Well, I've just finished. Look, he's ready to go. Marvellous. Come on, Big Blue. Good luck. Cheerio! Looks like Stan's plan started to work. Nice and easy, little red tractor. Oh, oh, oh. oh, thanks, Stan. Any time. And thank you too, Little Red Tractor. We're going to see how Mr Jones is getting on. Are you coming? Oh, oh no. <laughs> I've had quite enough excitement for one day. Here we go. That's it, Mr Jones. You can do it. Of course we can. Come on, Big Blue! Aha! Marvellous! Well done, us! Did you see that, Stan? Good job. That was a very heavy log. Oh, it was a breeze. Big Blue is so strong and with me at the wheel. <laughs> what a team! Hmm. It's too bad you're getting rid of him. Oh, no. Change of plan, you see. Can't break up the winning team, can we? And the 501? Well, I think that everyone was right. Big Blue is more than just a tractor. I don't expect you to understand, but, um, well, I've really become very fond of him. You mean he's more like a friend than just a tractor? Exactly. That's it. A friend. Oh, I understand all right. I'm sure I don't know where I'd be without my friend, Little Red Tractor. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>